Um, I, I think we do a lot more, rather than just throw students into teams and, and have them play with the simulation, I do a lot more work now with, um, with the teams on helping them understand team dynamics. In the past I might have assumed that teams will work out what roles individuals in the team will play. Now I do a lot more work with those team members to help them think about what their strengths are. When I was at the University of Sao Paulo, um, we were implementing PBL there, and one of the things that we do with the problem-based learning was that there is a group of seven students each, and they had to go out in the community uh, and try to bring solutions for a particular problem that we would identify to them. And one of the things that they had there was actually a matrix where everybody assessed each other's participation. What I found quite fascinating about that is that when you show the results to the students or how they were evaluated by their peers. Most students, if not all students, actually agree with that. There is a sense that people understand of fairness when they are evaluated by their peers. What happened out of that is that the mark that the group get is then average in regards to the participation and contribution of each student. So it's very possible that if the group got a 7, someone did more, will get an 85, another one might end up getting a 50 or something like that. I've only had the opportunity to do a group assignment once and it was, it was quite easy. Uh, we were all emailing each other, um, we did Skype conversations, uh, Skype calls, video and phone calls, um, it, was, it was so easy. Couldn't believe how easy it was and we've not met once face to face and we managed to put together a group assignment and got a good mark on it. I think it does work. Um, I'm not saying that it's perfect. There's still always one or two students a semester that will let somebody else down. But hey, this is life, right? Um, and I can only say that in my career that I've seen people that put the effort, the time, the means, usually they are successful. And it's not difficult for a reputation to spread out there of someone who is not working hard enough.